Hi guys, good morning. Good Sunday morning. Chatty Kathy and I'm Kathy with Kathy's WW Journey. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Um, every Sunday I do a Chatty Kathy and I just chat about uh, things in general and like what's going on with me and things like that. Plus, um, I reveal my menu and my upcoming uh, cook with me's and a little bit about that. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope everybody's had a great week and starting your new week. Yay. <laughs> well, I think things are finally getting back to normal. Um, we do got to go out this week. My son's birthday, Rob, was yesterday. And so we are celebrating it on, on Wednesday. Uh, we're going to take him out for dinner. Not sure where he wants to go yet. Um, he's thinking Longhorn. That's his favorite restaurant. So we might have to do that. But okay. Um, to start off, let's go ahead and start right into our menu. All right. Here's my menu. It's always subject to change. I tell you. Monday's always fish day. Um, and usually when I say fish, I could have scallops, I could have shrimp and fish. It's just some kind of a seafood thing. It's normally fish though. And I think this week it's, um, we had salmon patties last week. So I'm not sure yet which fish. It's either salmon or haddock. Tuesday is our WW workshop. We're really excited because all the new programs start off tomorrow. They, everything is gone out tomorrow. And to my understanding, you can go to www.com and get all the updates, you know, um, what's going on, which plans, all about all the plans. Um, I'm also putting up my cook with me, Italian wedding soup. So we'll have that and probably a salad <clears throat> after our um, workshop. Plus my shopping haul, my Walmart, and I have to go to the meat market, so you're going to have the meat market and Walmart on Tuesday morning. Uh, well, Tuesday, sometime Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, going out for dinner with our son and our daughter-in-law. And a cook with me is going to be the Instant Pot Poke Cake. Um, it's a cake that my son requested. I made one for my husband and I's anniversary. It turned out beautiful. Oh my goodness. We loved it, loved it, loved it. And the points are really nice on this cake, guys. So definitely give a watch to that. You guys are going to like that. Um, Thursday, I'm doing another cook with me. A subscriber of mine wanted to see my chicken and lemon caper sauce. You know, the recipe was on the back of last week's um, card from White Watchers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We, I, we've had that before. And it's excellent. And it's five points for that. Um, yeah. But anyway, we're going to do that one because that's a good one. Friday's lunchy day, of course. And usually Friday, Saturday, Sunday, my lunches are heavier because my husband won't be here at dinner time. And I eat light on dinner time, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Friday, I'm not sure what we're having for lunchy day yet, but it will be on my Facebook group. Saturday is a chicken sausage with pasta and a vegetable. Sunday, I'm, I know I'm doing scroll, or grilled scallops and vegetables. So kind of probably grilled zucchini or whatever. <laughs> but that's my menu uh, for next week. Now, I am going to be putting in there on some days when it's food that I've already showed you that I've cooked. I'm putting up my holiday um, cranberries stuff. Uh, I've got how to do the fresh cranberries, which, you know, when I first started Weight Watchers, we always had the canned cranberries. I never did the fresh ones because people usually made the relish and I was not fond of cranberry relish. And I love cranberries, but didn't like the relish. So I thought that was the only way you could do it. Well, Lo and behold, I found out that, yeah, you can have it the other way. 
and it is delicious and the points are practically nothing and there might still be zero I can't remember but anyway I'm going to show you that and I got a couple other cranberry recipes and uh, you guys should check out Prep Whisper. She put out one, I think it was today, and it was uh, cranberry and walnut bars. Oh my God, I'm, I'm definitely going to give that a whirl this week. Um, what else? It's coming. Up. I'm just uh, gearing towards the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. I'm going to just start putting up all those little nice little recipes, side dishes and main dishes. Um, I'm going to show you all how to smoke a turkey in your oven. If you don't have a smoker outside, we always smoke our turkey every year. And um, I think Christmas, I think we're going to do a ham, but we're going to do an Instapot, um, a spiral ham. So that'll be interesting. We got some things down the line to share. Um, let's see, Lainey, if you're watching, I just put an order on Christmas order, got some Christmas scents coming in, so yay, I just did that this morning, <laughs> and I am working on, I don't know if you guys have seen, some of the YouTubers has a um, Teespring merchandise where you can buy with our logo onto it, and I'm going to be starting that up, and it should be ready sometime this week, it'll be up. Um, you know, little coffee cups, t-shirts, hoodies, whatever, <laughs> grocery bags. <laughs> okay. Now, oh, I think it was last month. I told you guys I joined this club and it's the, um, stitch sampler Afghan. And every month they send you so much to do so many blocks. This is the Afghan I'm making and it's the gray and white I picked out. Well, yes, I, I did work on it last couple of weeks. No, because I've been busy, but I got one square done. Woohoo! I got two more to go. I just got my next uh, monthly subscription in. So I'm going to hustle doing that. Maybe next Sunday I'll show you what I've got so far. <laughs> so it's pretty interesting. I know how to crochet, but um, they had knitting too. But knitting takes me longer and I wanted something that I could do like pretty quick and like when I'm sitting down watching TV I can do that or when I need some little downtime um, I get pleasure from doing that I do for my diamond art too but I did not want to bring that out because I am still busy my holiday season is here and it's like I'm making dog cookies and soaps and everything going crazy and yes I am going to speaking on that note I am going to, because I know some of you have been interested in my dog treats, and actually I had one of my subscribers order some, and she gave me little pictures of her dogs eating. I, I just love that. Oh, my God. That was my biggest moment when I had my store open, um, seeing all the dogs come in, and, and their owners, you know. <laughs> the dogs come in, and, of course, I give them little treats and all that, and just to see them, and their little faces would light up, you know. It's, it's great. Anyway, I love taking a picture. So if you buy any of my treats, when you give it to your babies, take a picture. I'd like to see them. Yay. Um, but speaking on that note, I am going to start a second Facebook group. And it's going to be all about my treats. It's going to have pictures of all the treats. Um, I'll probably throw up a couple recipes for you guys to make some at home. Um, but if you guys are too busy, that's what I'm here for. You know, I love making the treats. And also on that same page, I'm probably going to put my soaps on there too because I make the old-fashioned, I do a cold process soap. Um, I don't do the hot process. It's usually cold process soaps. Um, and I'm going to put those up there too because I sell those as well. Okay, so I think our today's going to be short. <laughs> it's going to be a short one. Um, we are going to open up our little book to see what our chickens are teaching us today, shall we? <laughs> let's see okay oh look at her she's on all her little eggs and she's sweet it says take your responsibilities seriously yes chickens are so smart <laughs> but it's true we do need to take our responsibilities on 
very seriously. Oh, I got one more thing. Hang on. I got a quote that <laughs> I wanted to share. Hang on, guys. Okay. Sorry about that. I seen one this morning and um, I wanted to see it. Okay, this one is from Benj Benjamin Disraeli. Action may not always bring happiness, but there is no happiness without action. I love that. And then, like, I know in my little food journal, that my life in apples, I put one um, yesterday with C. Lewis. You are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. And that is very true, guys. No matter where you are in your life, it's never too late to start. Never. Always start. You know, start again. You know, you keep positive. And then um, a positive thought of today was one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. And that is true. Um, I can't say that enough. When you get up in the morning, you know, it's like when I get up, of course, my prayers are first. Um, and I go outside and thank God for for everything out there. And for me, waking up <laughs> and having a new day. And then I feed the birds and, you know, whatever. But um, I'm always thinking, you know, of positive, positive things every single day. Um, and if something happens, you turn it right into and something negative, turn it right into a positive that quick. Um, and you, it can be done. It's not always easy sometimes, but it can be done. Um, it's like if something happens to your vehicle, it won't start or something. That's what happened during the wedding that day for the hairdresser. You know, you just say, hm, all right, it's a battery. Okay, let's go on. It's, it's still a good day. It's a good day. No matter what, it's a good day. Um, things happen every day. Um, we can't get away from it, okay? It's, uh, it is what it is. All right, guys, I hope you all have a great week. And let me know what, um, what plan you guys are going to go on. I'm thinking I'm probably going green. Um, I think my husband's going to stay blue. But I think I'm going to go green just until I get to my goal weight. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm hoping we can go in and out. You know, give one a try. And if it doesn't work for us, go to the next one. The blue does work for me if I follow it 100%. Um, but I think I need a little more structure to get off the last, the last, what, 10, 15, 20 pounds, whatever it is. And, um. I think the green is probably going to help me do that. <laughs> so, I don't know. We're in the holiday season, and I love my dressing. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, <laughs> it's like the scalp potatoes I put up a few days ago. Guys, that is the best scalp potatoes I've ever had in my life. Um, yeah, and it's so worth doing. <laughs> but I can't make that too often. <laughs> I cannot, because I cannot be trusted. I count it, but I can't be trusted. <laughs> so, okay. With that being said, have a great week, guys. Leave me a comment, like, share, if you think someone would benefit from this. And just have a great week. And you are all, all I'm so happy for all of you. Support me. It's been great. It's a great journey, and I'm loving it every day. And I'll see you real soon in my kitchen. Bye, guys.